Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to be asking the question, is the JPEG dead? It doesn't matter what kind of photography you do, everyone is familiar with the JPEG. Even if you shoot in RAW, most of your images will end up being exported out as a JPEG file eventually. Now the JPEG file was first introduced in 1992 and that means as of now it's just over 27 years old. And for anything to have lasted for 27 years in the world of tech is absolutely incredible. But there's now a new file format that's come along, the HEIF file format, which could possibly spell the end for the JPEG. This was first developed between 2013 and 2015 by the Moving Pictures Expert Group, or MPEG. Now anyone that creates video will be familiar with the acronym MPEG. Its file system is used for creating small, high quality files that are ideal for uploading videos to things like YouTube. So back in 2013, the guys at MPEG developed a small file format for video called HEVC, which stands for High Efficiency Video Codec. Now, I'll be honest, everything that I know about video compression, I learned from watching Silicon Valley. But the HEVC, or H.265 video file format, is virtually exactly the same as the product produced by Pied Piper in the show. It produces a file size that's 50% smaller than the traditional video files. Now moving on from there, the guys at MPEG developed a similar small file size specifically for imaging. And this is called HEIF or HEIC. This stands for High Efficiency Image File Format or High Efficiency Image Coding. But for now, I'll just call it the HEIF because it makes it simpler, but they're both the same thing. Now, the advantage of the HEIF and its compression is that it allows more information to be stored on a file that's half the size of a traditional JPEG. So not only are you getting more information, but you're gaining much more storage space on your cards, on your computer, on any external hard drives. Another advantage of the HEIF is that it records 16-bit color compared to JPEG's 8-bit color. And just to give you an idea of what that means, 8-bit will allow 16 million colors to be recorded, whereas 16-bit will allow just over a trillion. Now, even though the HEF files have been around since 2015, it's only since 2017 that Apple started to introduce it onto their iPhones. And they did this mainly to give more storage space. With the smaller file sizes, you could store far more images on your phone than you could if they were traditional JPEGs. One of the issues is that if you export the images from your iPhone to your Mac or your PC, they will automatically revert to being a JPEG. And this is because most devices and software don't yet fully support the HEF file format. But this might be about to change. As of January this year, Canon launched the 1DX Mark III, and this has become the first camera that actually supports the HEF file system as a recording option. And it's only a matter of time then before Photoshop and Lightroom also support the HEF file system across all of their platforms. So with HEIF having the ability to record higher quality images and then store them on a much smaller file size, surely the days of JPEG must be numbered. But it may not all be over for JPEG just yet. As we stand right now, 99% of all cameras and phones still use the JPEG file format. For any device to be able to use the new HEIF file format, it's also going to have to use the HEVC video format because that's where it originally came from. And that means it's going to have to have the ability to shoot 4K video at over 60 frames per second. And right now, that's very few cameras on the market. And because the camera needs the HEVC video format, it's not something that can be upgraded by a simple software update. This means that any cameras that are around at the moment or any cameras that are coming in the future that don't use that video format won't be able to take advantage of the HEIF file format. Now, there might be some work around in the future where camera manufacturers can implement the HEIF file format without the video codec. But right now, the two are intrinsically tied because one comes directly from the other. So good news for JPEG. The JPEG will remain around for a good few years to come. Obviously, any camera that's around at the moment that shoots JPEG will still use JPEG. Any cameras that come in the future that don't have the video capabilities are still going to have to use JPEG. So the JPEG isn't going anywhere immediately. But as time goes on, it could well be that the HEIF file format does become standard and eventually does replace the JPEG. So there we go. That concludes our look at the HEIF file format. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you miss JPEG if it disappeared or would you welcome a new file format coming along? I'd really love to hear your opinions. For now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.